Hi, good morning. My name is Jim Sidi. I'm the Sydney Field Superintendent at the National Conservation Commission, otherwise known as the NCC. I'm in charge of the Commercial Landscape and Industrial Department. Uh, what we do, we provide um, landscape and commercial services uh, to the wider public, government agencies, as well as households. So uh, you've been a partner of the BIS project for a long time, since the beginning I think? Yes. And uh, you've had many projects over the years, so what is the objective for this summer? Well this summer we're looking at the, the option of actually being able to, to through stem cuttings, to grow uh, in the school, um, like one year. Yes, um, those, those are the main things, because we've been having a challenge over the years, uh, of getting those uh, propagated. See, seeding is done in a seasonal manner. So what, what we're looking at is being able to produce um, pinnisplum and lemonade, which are very high, uh, they have a high demand in terms of foliage um, for flower arrangers, as well as for um, wind break plants, which people will uh, normally like. Propagation project, we decided that it would be interesting to have three different mediums in which to propagate our four species. The first one is the sand medium that the NCC normally uses, so it's just very fine sand. Uh, that's it, there's nothing else that we put inside. Uh, it drains very fast and it's not alkaline, which is good because the soil here is very, very basic. Uh, other than that, though, that's pretty much all there is and it's not what we believe to be the best medium. After that, we did another medium which is made of 80% peat moss, 10% perlite, and 10% topsoil. The topsoil is the mixture that is found here at the NCC that they use to usually pot the plants after they have been rooted to go into the hardening area. We believe that this is a good mixture even though it is slightly old-fashioned because nowadays uh, in most propagation uh, areas do not use soil in the mixture, they actually use soilless mixes. Uh, however, here they don't seem to have access to that um, material, so we decided that using their own topsoil is a good way to help them uh, recreate our medium if it, or it turns out being the best one. Our third medium uh, involves co coconut mulch taken from the SBRC here at, in Barbados. We think that it's a good alternative to the topsoil and the peat moss because they do not have to import this material since it's found on the island locally. Right now we're looking to find our dysparum cutting, so we're taking it from the source, uh, which are these trees. Um, we don't want hardwood because hardwood is not the most recommended one for this type of propagation, the stem cutting. Uh, according to the literature that we found, semi-hardwood is the best when it comes to propagating dysporums. So now that we've done all of our cuttings for Pittosporum, we're cleaning them in a 10% bleach solution, so the other 90% is water. That's just to be sure that any bacteria or any like this little insect that was on it will be washed off, cleaned off. And this doesn't hurt the cutting at all, it's really just to clean it, and we really just swish it through, so it's a very fast process. So for Pittosporum, we decided to have one row of controls, meaning that they're just put in the medium with no hormones. We have one where they have hormone in one, which is about 0.1% IBA. And we have hormone in two, it has 0.2% IBA. And then we put the dip and growth, which is, which should be diluted for semi-hardwoods. So we just finished our Limonia stem cuttings. So once again, just as with the Pittosporum, these three rows are going to be control, these three rows are Hormodin 1, these three rows are Hormodin 2, these are Hormodin 3, but it's actually 0.8% uh, IBA in it. Now 
cutting it up. Now it should peel right off if I did properly. There we go. So this is all the cambium that's, ex the cambium that's exposed and we'll be covering it with the ruining hormone which is composed of IBA. Keep moss that was soaked in water to, to keep it moist because uh, at the NCC they tend to not rewater their air layering. We will check in three to four days but it's supposed to stay moist for the entire time. And uh, on it here you have the ruining hormone, Formodin 2. So here we just, oops, it is. So now make sure the hormone is on the node and then we just close it. Make sure that we don't want to lose anything. The bottom and the top tight, just to be sure that uh, nothing can go in the hormone solution, uh, can go in the peat moss. But the middle, we keep it not very compact because we do want uh, the roots to have place to grow inside the medium. Like so. Ta-da!